work order complaint. Oven not starting. You can hear the gas come on. You can hear the striker. But I just smell gas right now. Pull these pans out. Pull these uh, trays out. Gonna hit cancel. Model number I'm working on today, Whirlpool WEG730H0DS0. To make life easier, I'm just gonna remove this door that lifting up on these clips. It just makes it a lot easier to work back here in the oven. Now I've got some room to work. There's two Phillips head screws right here, which we'll have to remove to access the striker. Now this should just lift up. One Phillips head screw holds in the igniter. Also got another screw at the front of the oven, Phillips head. This is the part that I'm most concerned with right here, the igniter itself. What you can do is grab some steel wool and I may have to take this all the way off. I'm going to, just to show you guys held in by two screws, flash 16 Now, before we go any further, I'm gonna secure the power to this. Here's our igniter. It's um, connected by one female plug to the end. And then the tip looks a little busted. I'm gonna replace this if we have a new one, but if you don't, you can grab some steel wool and just lightly brush. And this will usually work to get you heating again. All right, here's our new igniter. There's the part number. Here's the position your hinges need to be in before reapplying the oven door, reinstalling the oven door. All right, still preheating at 245. Our cooling fan just kicked on. Everything's looking good.